on-duty cops having sex on camera. These cops will go viral for having sex. Most of them would lose jobs and even their marriages. Francesco Marlett. In Maryland, a Prince George County police officer was caught smooching an African-American woman who was not his wife. The kiss happened right in front of the park where children could see the cop and the woman getting intimate and then proceeding in the back seat of the cop's car. Little did Officer Francesco Marlett know that his extramarital affair would be recorded on camera and millions of social media users would witness it in a span of a few hours. As soon as the video went viral online, the Prince George's County station opened an investigation. But before any of this could happen, the officer's wife jumped in public to defend her husband. Paula Marlett told the New York Post she and her husband had hit a rough patch, but she expected they would get through everything at the end of the day. She also had sharp words for the woman kissing her husband. Paula Marlett identified her as Virginia Pinto and said her husband had just used her for sex because she was easy. Marlett also called her dirty and told her to rotten hell in a post made Wednesday to Facebook. In reply, the mistress had a rather condescending response. I'm living my life. I have children. I'm sure as you guys know, I have a 15-year-old autistic boy. His father was Caucasian. I guess I have a thing for Caucasians, Pinto told the New York Post. What do you think is worse, cheating cops or them doing the deed in front of a public park? Let us know in the comments below. Bert Lopez. Not knowing that a hidden security camera was right above him, this New Mexico police officer thought he had it all, but not for long. After getting caught for having sex with an unidentified woman on the hood of the car, the officer will face serious consequences. Officer Bert Lopez will be fired for misconduct after this security footage was sent to the state police chief. The police department refused to reveal the identity of the woman with Bert Lopez, However, Lopez was immediately fired on charges of misconduct. It was later revealed that the sexual encounter was not in exchange for anything related to Bert Lopez's position as a law enforcement officer. It is an embarrassing situation for the department, but we have to remember the rights of the employee to afford him due process we must follow, so we won't be commenting further," said spokesman Sergeant Tim Johnson. Bert Lopez was given 30 days to appeal the firing. Later in the investigation, the authorities decided to put no charges on Bert Lopez since he did not commit a crime. That is, use his position of power to demand sex. Do you think Bert Lopez had an easy punishment? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Rebecca Martinez and Iman Fondren It started when Fondren's wife caught him cheating with Martinez. In January 2016, Fondren's wife entered the police station to inform the authorities about her husband and his mistress's sexual misconduct. The wife had screenshots of explicit conversations between the two colleagues come lovers. It was a 160-page document filled with racy text messages. Most of these messages indicated the possibility that Fondren and Martinez were doing the deed while on duty. Looking at the totality of the situation, the conduct they were engaged in was not at all ethical, not at all professional, said Sergeant Jesse Salame, an SAPD spokesperson. Certainly that's something we're not going to tolerate in this department. Both officers will be fired from their positions for disabling their GPS while on duty, turning off video cameras, and sexual misconduct. Martinez was also caught using the police department's database to look up information on Fondren's wife. Sue Eberly a matter of a few hours ago in which he announced that two sergeants would be terminated as a result of that sex scandal. A third sergeant has resigned in lieu of termination after it was determined that she lied in court. This is the greatest scandal in Lakeland in 2013, when a female crime analyst named Sue Eberly, who was married at the time, came forward in public with a story of abuse. Sergeants Rusty Longerberger, David Wolverton, Lieutenant Albert Wilson and Officer George Vidal were the people who Eberly accused of raping her while on duty. This sends the message that this will not be tolerated. You know, there is a, there's an expectation of professionalism with the Lakeland Police Department. Sue accepted that she had had physical relations with 20 officers at that time, and the four accused had sex with her against her will several times while they were in a physical relationship. And it was without your consent. Did you ask to open like that? He was pretty gone pretty rough and during 
during the, in the time of sex, he actually forced sex on me. And I stopped, pulled away because, I mean, he knew it hurt me. Sue further told investigators that Longaberger met her for sex on different occasions, and at one point sexually assaulted her in a hotel room. Longaberger admitted to two, possibly three encounters with her in an Orlando hotel, but denied raping her or having sex with her on duty. I went into the bathroom and I cried. I mean, I wanted to, to report him at that moment, but I was scared that the department wouldn't, wouldn't believe me that they would say it was my fault somehow. On the other hand, Wolverton, a member of the SWAT team at Lakeland Police Department and a traffic homicide unit member, assaulted Sue on the desk of her office. Wolverton accepted that he and Sue had sexual encounters multiple times, and he also sent her a picture of her genitals. Sue further told officers about Vidal, claiming that they had a sexual encounter in a closet of a police department. However, Vidal argued that he blacked out due to low blood pressure and does not remember having any sort of physical encounter with Sue Eberly. The fourth police officer, Wilson, was accused of demanding nude photos of Sue Eberly and also tried very hard to arrange a time and place for having a sexual encounter with the crime analyst. However, Wilson accepts looking at the intimate photos of Sue, but denies forcing himself on her. Two of the officers had resigned from their positions after the scandal, while the other two were fired immediately after Sue Eberly's interview and case investigation. Megan Hall I received harassing and threatening messages on my phone daily. This is Megan Hall, the police officer who became famous on social media after news broke out that she had slept with almost the whole police department. As the news spread rapidly, Megan became a meme material and later came in public as a victim of sexual grooming by the local police department. Shocking findings of sexual misconduct rocked the Laverne Police Department. Five officers and the police chief all fired. One of those officers, Megan Hall, became the face of the scandal and the target of nationwide ridicule, and she's now filed a federal lawsuit. I received harassing and threatening messages. A 26-year-old officer from Tennessee, this rookie police officer became an overnight media sensation after the married Megan Hall decided to pursue her dreams of becoming a police officer. Soon after joining the Laverne Police Department, Megan became the ultimate go-to girl for police officers, but not for the right reasons. A lengthy list of police officers was associated with Megan Hall in a long report submitted to the police authorities by the mayor of Laverne, Jason Cole. The mayor received information through a whistleblower that something deeply troubling was happening behind closed doors in the local police department. About a terms, <laughs> it's a sex scandal going on in this police department. Note that Megan Hall and the police officers did not only commit these acts during their private time in hotels, but were also found engaged in sexual activities when they were supposed to be on duty and serving the public. Through deep investigation, it was confirmed that Megan ignored her position for two years as a police officer and the integrity that comes with it. Pay me because I was sleeping with your police officers, and I'm a woman, and I'm a piece of meat, and I'm hot, and I'm sexy. Andrew Patton. The head of human resources at the Laverne Police Department conducted the investigation and discovered some shocking revelations. I remember while interviewing for the position at Laverne Police Department, they described the environment as a family. However, while I was aspiring to protect my community, the Laverne Police Department was not protecting me. Megan told the officers that had an intimate relationship with her that she and her husband, Jed, had an open relationship. However, this was far from the truth. The couple had seen a rough patch in their relationship and were on the brink of divorce during that time. Police officer McGowan, who was the actual whistleblower, came forward with his story. Megan Hall came to his house for the interview along with her husband, Jed. At the officer's house, the situation lost control when Hall and the officer's wife decided to play a game of strip uno. Hall wanted her husband to join them and make it a three-way situation. However, the husband denied it and looked clearly upset with how the situation turned out. After the investigation, the Laverne Police Department lost 12% of its employee positions. Most of the officers were suspended, some fired, and some resigned. To watch more of these videos, subscribe to our channel and get the latest information about true crime.